Hello, this is Snide and Sniff doing some uh, different content. Hopefully this won't trigger you and you'll go, oh, well, this is, they're doing something I don't like, unsubscribe, whatever, like, just don't watch it, come on, follow the advice of the guys replying to the I hate this artwork comments or whatever. So, today we're looking at the software where maybe it's got a bad reputation because like many things, it's got a militant fandom who will constantly say Blender is better or whatever, it's, which is not cool. Currently we're just looking at the default scene. If you're a if you've never opened Blender before, you probably don't know what this is, but anyone should. Yeah, so, I'm here um, for some reason, even though I don't know anything about this. Come on, you being here is important. This is the Snide and Sniff. This isn't the Good Snide point, channel. good point, you're right. Today we'll probably do something very simplistic that even the silliest, least experienced people can, can handle. Like, you know, a, a weapon or something. And come on, we need some, some Sniff. Sniff and Sounds put. good. So what kind of um, weapon do you want to do? I want you to make um a bolt gun, please. Bolt gun. Okay. <laughs> what we need to do is find something. I mean, <laughs> this is probably doable, but this is probably as much as we need. Hopefully, we're not going to get sued by the art store. But let's. Um, so, first, one thing is we're not going to be doing any animation. So, add some screen space, and I guess I'll open it. Uh, I've no point. Let, let's uh, let's go to the um, the background images. Tick that. Add image. This is pretty simple. You pretty self-explanatory, honestly. And open image. So now, when we go to side view and go to orthographic mode with the five key, we've now got it up in the background. Awesome. And seeing as this is a very simple design, it's obviously already orthographic, seeing as they're not going to draw it with the perspective, which is very helpful because otherwise we're going to have, to, we'd have you know, we're not going to be able to immediately, uh, yeah, so I mean, you could start off doing it in 3D and doing both sides at once, but that just makes it kind of a slower process and it's pointless because you can just extrude it afterwards anyway. So first you remove it to a square and then we can uh, start tracing the design basically so firstly awesome. um it's pretty quick just do the different parts firstly the uh, the top casing and um add some edge loops with the control r lol we, we're not high tech enough to have the on screen hotkeys we're using and then um scale those extrude this with a we can probably add this will probably subdivide this later so I might just add one oh. you're obviously gonna need more loops in this lol yeah I guess I'll add three it's pretty simple here just moving around after adding some loops there you go We've got that shift D this we can have it entirely flat at the moment. We can do the other dimensions later. Extrude that. Who cares about those? that extra detail? Obviously, we're not going to be doing any of the circular objects. They can be handled later. And, uh... Yeah, lol. I'll just continue with this. Not very interesting at the moment, but... Still. Um... Shall I, um... <coughs> You must have something to say, Sniff. Oh yes, I do. I do. So, so um, Snide is what I've asked Snide to make is a uh, bolt gun from One Fifty Thousand. Um, if you know what One Fifty Thousand is, you already know what this is. But, but a uh, One Fifty Thousand is a, a science fiction uh, tabletop miniature game, um, and this is a a, a bolt gun. Uh, the bolt guns are used, mostly used, iconically by the uh, Adeptus Astartes, or, or otherwise known as the Space Marines. The, what the bolt gun basically is, is a, is a gun that it, it fires uh, rocket-propelled exploding bullets. Now, that doesn't really work at all in real life, that's, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I mean, rocket-propelled, how does that even make sense? I guess that could work, who knows. <laughs> kind of unnecessary, just have a better initial force, and unless they're wanting to have, I don't know, weird um, <laughs> auto 
tracking, I, you know, I, I, I guess that's more of a small missile, I guess. So as you can see, not much detail going on here at the moment because that's unnecessary and just makes the process a lot more difficult for you, lol. And, um, pretty simplistic, really. I don't know, extrude shift D that, lol. Although they're also used by the, um, like, uh, they're, they're generally used by, like, the elite forces of the Imperium, like the Sisters of Battle. Also, um, about the Sisters of Battle, that it's confirmed, uh, I've apparently, yeah. it's confirmed that the Sisters of Battle are getting, um, plastic kits, like, next year or something, which is oh, pretty yeah. awesome if you're, you're a Sister of Battle player. Or a Sister of Battle in general. <laughs> no. Well, I mean, yeah, if you're a Sister of Battle, but... I mean, you know, well, you know, I, I mean, you know, if you identify as a sister of battle, then yeah, absolutely, you'll love it. Yeah. But yeah, pretty, pretty awesome. Um, I mean, they're also used by, like, you know, inquisitors and elite, imper like, imperial guard officers. These are all circular, aren't they? Yes, they are. I'm pretty sure. Okay. Uh, the bottom one, I, th I don't think the bottom one's circular. Okay, so we can add that then. Yes, I think the the bottom one is like the bay, as far as I know, like the bayonet attachment or something like that. I, maybe right. I think I'm not a hundred percent sure. I ha I think I thought you were a law master or something. I I I don't know exactly what all the different parts of a bolt gun and stuff. Do. Look, I, yeah, I know. I haven't looked that much into it. I'm I should know more. I'm sorry. Yeah. It's what that's your whole point of being here. Come on. I'm sorry. Okay, I guess we've got all the square stuff done then. Time to oh. Wow, that's actually looking like a bolt gun. Here you go. Like that's it's thing probably, pretty oh right. Pretty quickly you can actually get a decent result. Wow. Okay, let's uh, let's make sure I've got one side selected so I can adjust the how Thick it is. We want it to be thick. <laughs> yes, we do. Actually, probably the magazine, probably, like, certain parts of it are... <laughs> yes, yeah, that's the thing. You have to adjust it afterwards. Oh, right. Got it, got it. Got okay, it. Like, no, you, like, uh, not all of it's going to be the same. <laughs> Wait, is... The, do I have to recalculate? Here we go. Why is it so... Oh, I'm in texture mode. Here we go. So, we've got the basis down. <laughs> wow. That's pretty cool. Uh, you know, anyone could do this because it's just the tracing it. Anyway, uh, before we do that, I will add the other stuff. Just adding a cylinder. Do not never add monkey. That's <laughs> the moral of the story, really. But if you're making a movie in Blender, always add the monkey in somewhere just as a, a, a yeah. tribute to the monkey. I think that that's in the like agreement. It may be you know open source, but if you make a movie, you must add at least one monkey. <laughs> Is that really or not? No. <laughs> it Why? should be. That, okay, yeah, they could, but I'm not sure if that would be valid for the license type or whatever. Although that might be getting a bit too technical. Okay. I mean, not much point in going into render mode, but just gives you a different look at the shading. As you can see, we've got a lot of, uh, to try and seem like a technical master man, we've got some Z fighting going on, which we will obviously remedy by adjusting the density. Okay, so yeah, this is thicker. I mean, actually, maybe we need another reference image now. Well, it's just, it's just the casing, so it's just slightly wider than the rest of it. Oh, yeah, I haven't got this in the right position. Actually, what we should do is, is mirror it, in fact. Yeah, but that's going to require a lot of... Um, okay, I'll, I'll, I guess I can just... It's, it's going to be a bit of an involved process. Actually, not really, actually. No, yeah, I know, I've, I've worked it out. I was being a bit of a silly man before. Yeah, all we need to do is uh, add clipping. And delete faces, and now we've got something that will be a bit easier to edit. Ah, oh, beautiful. So let's uh, zoop this down a bit. 
clips pretty thin. You see it's all a bit too thick in general actually, I think. What else have we got here? This is a particularly large bit, isn't it? Or is it a small? Uh, yeah, I yeah, that's yeah. It's the same size as the rest. It's sort of is the same size as the rest of the casing. I'm pretty sure. Okay, so let's just. It's like that's like attached. That bit is. Uh, as far as I know, that's sort of just a, like a separate bit of the casing. I think. Pretty much like okay, that. Yeah, and obviously, yeah. The, does the top thing have? <laughs> I don't, I don't know what the top it, thing not? is, sorry, I can't remember. Okay, and, an, and another little trick, if you want to adjust two axes but not one, you can go S, shift, whatever one you don't want, so there you go, yeah, wow. that's pretty clever. The magazine I almost might do with being slightly larger, almost, I'd say. Okay. Just slightly wider. And I think we've got a f this is obviously massive. yeah that's better with the magazine. I mean bolt guns are thick. <laughs> yes they are. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay there you go. Um I think this is a lot thinner obviously all of this can be thinned down. Okay. And I think the middle bit the middle bit of the top rail was thinner than the other two. Oh, bits. Yes. Yeah, so like that, but was... yeah, I like that. Okay. Jesus, that's like so. Good. In order to make it look a bit better and not as flat, we can smooth it. It looks kind of weird, but then we can add the nice little where is it edge bit. Wow. I mean, not much different, but you know, and then looks just get some better shading on it, and uh, already looking pretty good. And obviously, this is another little trick we can use. We haven't added much detail, but there is a hole in the barrel, so you might think, oh, that's going to be impossible to do, but in fact, it's super simple, because if I, if I rotate this in, into being a hole in the barrel, match that up to the side here, use P to separate it, then all we need to do is add Boolean and which is the cylinder 01. Change it to difference. Move this to layer 2. -da! Wow. There you go. That was amazing. So, uh, <laughs> I mean, you've got the simple, simple design now. It's already looking like a bolt gun after like 10 minutes or something. So, well, we can probably just about stop here unless you want to. Go through the tedious thing of adding no, no, no. all the stuff. What if we too? continue in another episode? Yeah, yeah. If people, if this gets many views, we'll continue to, and do part, part two. two yeah. yeah, and um, credit to whoever did this bad drawing of a bolt gun. Yeah, um, it is no name on the picture. Here you go. The easiest way to make very flat sort of two-dimensional things in Blender. You know, very little work, very exact, very similar to the design. Very simplistic. But obviously getting it to greatness is a different matter entirely, and more organic weapons would smooth the surfaces are a ton more difficult than the blocky bolt gun. So, uh, there you go. This has been Snide and the Sniff, two great little men on the internet. Thank you very much, Lul. And uh, we will see you next time. See you, everyone! Yeah.